G'day gang, so uh, we're going to test this um, ECU for a problem. And you think you're ready to see how I'm going to do that? No, I bet you're not. Let's have a look. G'day gang, well we're back looking at the BMW. And I've got the ECU out, PCM, whatever you want to call it. And uh, spoke to the smarty pants, he wanted me to pull this out, put it in the freezer for a few hours, which I've done. I'm skeptical. But anyway, these are the guys that deal with this stuff all the time. So I'll, um, I'll slot it back in the hole over here. We'll see what happens. Running. Start up with a bit of a splutter, but anyway, I'll bring you back when we approach the, uh, the magic mark, eh? Now, I did do a generic OBD uh, scan on this and I was able to come up with the code because doing the uh, BMW, going through the BMW. Um, Going through the BMW scan, it just uh, it had read no codes, and of course we had all that erratic um, temperature sensing carry on. Went in OBD uh, generic, and <coughs> was able to get a correct reading on the uh, coolant, and the actual coolant reads at a good temperature when it's warmed up at 82 Celsius. So. We're good with that, but it did. I was able to get a code from it, and it was a uh, a cam sensor. <clears throat> Whether that's cutting the ignition, I don't know, but uh, we'll just see. The guy, the guy says that he thinks it might have a bad processor in the ECU. So, I'll be back with you in a sec. Uh, we're sort of approaching the window now. The reason we're going through all this is because the, uh, this particular case, the uh, smarty, smarty Pants, uh, that do all the uh, engine management stuff and supply all the parts and, and repairs and all that sort of stuff, have never come across this before, so they're trying to see if any of this stuff will help us. I'm skeptical, but you know, we're getting into that window now. Should happen in a moment if it's going to happen, I guess. at the moment, huh? Let's keep it going for a bit longer. See what happens. Well, that's been like about 10 minutes now and it certainly would have done it. I've heard the, um, the thermo fans come on probably two or three times now. And it certainly would have done it if it was going to do the banger. The theory apparently behind the uh, computer in the freezer is he thinks that it's got a bad processor and that um, the uh, heat soak from the engine is, is making it uh, have a little bit of a panic attack. 
Okay, so there you have it. You want to check the ECU to see if it's got an issue? Put it in the freezer for a few hours. We actually, <laughs> I actually put it in about uh, just before lunchtime yesterday and uh, got it out at about eight o'clock this morning. So it's been in for quite a few hours. But um, yeah, non-repairable, replacement value for a brand new one, four to five hundred dollars. So it's up to the guy now to see whether or not he, uh, or the kid to see whether or not he wants to spend the four or five hundred dollars on his uh, broke my wallet. Have a good one, guys. Check it.